Welcome to your Go Market Update and Charts of the Day for the 10th of November 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here. Just leading around the markets as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session today. Let's have a look at the news. Of course, overnight we saw a sell off in US equities was kicked off around about the middle of the US session. We saw a snap of an eighth day of successive gains on the SP 500. The catalyst for this was a speech by the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell for the IMF at their conference, uh, who suggested that uh, more have to more may have to be done to bring inflation down. Of course, we get earnings continuing; they're still coming in well. So, context is important here. To have eight days of wins followed by a slight pullback is not a big deal. U.S. futures are near neutral in early Asian trading. Asian markets are generally following that weak U.S. lead. Also, a little bit of end of week profit taking perhaps going on. ASX is down around a half a percent at this stage with only materials doing okay. The rest of the 11 sectors in the red. VIX has paused after its recent drop, moved up slightly last night with that equity weakness and European futures pointing to a cautious open this afternoon. US dollar index continued to bounce off those mid-September lows it hit at the end of last week. Uh, gold paused after a breach of three-week lows that we hit earlier in the week. Perhaps the selling is done for now in precious metals, but we'll see what happens over the next 24 hours as we move into the weekend. Other commodities were also weak. Copper was lower again after a choppy session, and oil has had a really rough week in terms of the bulls. Uh, it paused at mid-July lows and continued to look weak, generally speaking. be interesting to see if OPEC get involved at some stage, uh, particularly if we see WTI crude drop much more than it is now. Bitcoin, however, has been the bullish story of the week. It's broken that 34th. Bitcoin has been the bullish story of the week. It broke that important 35,000 level. And it looks as though that buying pressure is continuing. It may take the price up to around about 40,000. It's just under 37,000 at this stage. That may be worth a look at a chart of the CFD contract. Of course, on the data front, as well as earnings continuing and the Middle East conflict are remaining in the news. Really, it's the UK which has the focus this afternoon with GDP, industrial production, manufacturing production, and also trade balance numbers coming out of the UK. And in the US this evening, we've got US consumer sentiment and the University of Michigan inflation expectations. Those are all due later and may have the potential to move markets. A couple of charts the core RI today. We're going to look to the US, and we actually quite like Uber at this stage. So UBER.NYSE is the ticket code on the CFD. You can see we breached this 4936 resistance, which was tested in early September and in late July. And we can see that push through there. We like this if it breaches $50 and we could see it up to 55. So a nice potential 10% to be gained in this if we should get some continued buying pressure. You can see on the weekly chart why that 55 could be important. There lots of price action around there previously in the fx market the aussie yen has caught our eye here's a 30 minute chart so we've got that sell-off yesterday uh, that started at the midpoint of the u.s session and if we look at asian trading this morning you can see we had a little dip down on asian trading we've had several rejection candles at around about this 9620 level and looks as though we could be starting to form a rounded bottom if we get a breach of 2630 we could see this bounce quite nicely up around 40 pips back up to this key level that we've marked on the chart there.